What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Mariah May. I also go by the name The Glamour. I'm a pro wrestler from the UK and I make YouTube videos. And today's video is going to be a Bowen T slash Opoly slinky collection try on haul. I got these items a few weeks ago now and I thought it'd be cool to film a try on haul before I go ahead and wear them. I have also filmed a bunch of Bowen T Valentine's hauls which I'll link down below. If you like this, you might enjoy them. And if you're not already, please do subscribe and turn on the notifications for tons more videos just like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the haul. They released this collection pretty quickly after the Bone Tea Valentine's and I told myself I don't need anything because I got a bunch of stuff from the Bone Tea Valentine's collection but the cuts of these pieces of gym wear were so nice so I got myself three different sets. I tried to get one of each colour and do it like that so get a different shape and style of each colour and kind of try and get a bit of everything if that makes sense without being able to get everything. First thing that I got are these pink slinky leggings. The material is pretty basic if I'm honest. If you compare it to the rib bow and tee stuff it is pretty basic however what i did really like was the ruche section on the bum that's going to be really flattering it's going to make your butt look bigger <laughs> which is always a benefit i loved the cut of the top because it's kind of like a little v which is going to be super flattering too and i do like that it has the adjustable strap at the front and then the bow and tee logo on it was actually really cute then the bottom is just pretty basic kind of gym wear leggings i went for a size small i always have to check because i just flick and change all the time but I went for a small in these I'm gonna try and go a bit further back just so you guys can get an idea of the color it's a really gorgeous kind of candy pink I adore pink I wear it all the time for wrestling this is basically my wrestling color more or less so I had to get myself a pink pair I almost was like do I get the whole pink collection and I was like no you just don't need that the next thing that I got is this ruche sports bra slash top now of all the tops this wasn't exactly my favorite I'll show you my favorite in just a moment but I did try to get Get a different top for each set so I didn't duplicate and double up. I wanted to try each style. So this top I did feel matched the trousers best because of the ruche section at the front. I feel that it matched the back of the trousers really well. It's just got the little logo on it which I think is the cutest version of it they've had yet. I think it's so nice. It's very dainty which I do like. It's very lightweight. There's not too much material which is always good if you just want to work out. My only fear is the lack of structure so it does have adjustable straps which is great however there is literally no structure no padding no support in this my workouts are pretty intense <laughs> i do need support and it can be quite painful if you don't so i feel like this i would have to only wear it for perhaps yoga if that because it is just I feel like more fashion than practical, at least for me and my body and my shape, it just wouldn't be super, super practical. But I did feel that it was the best match with the leggings. And I feel like for yoga and stuff, it will work really nicely. Or just chilling out in, because I find now I chill out in gym wear. The color is what really drew me in. And as I said, I did want to try and get something different with each top instead of just getting the same style on every color. Okay, so the next thing that I got are these. It was called like what was it called like violet blue or something which i thought was really cool but the color is so nice so obviously i did get the leggings they only had leggings or shorts and i felt like a lot of these tops i would just prefer to wear them with leggings i wear leggings a lot more i'm from the uk the weather you know it's limited it's limited i do love a pair of shorts don't get me wrong and i did get one pair but these are far more practical and i want to use them the amount they cost you know i do want to use them so again it's just got this really nice ruche bum and then the little tie up at the front with the v cut it was the color Color that I just adored. I have nothing like this. It's so nice. I went for a small in these. I'm a UK 8 to 10. Normally, normally a 10 it really does depend on the clothing brand and the sizing so i'm normally about an 8 to 10 and i went for a small this was my favorite top again i'm not sure how practical it is but i just love it so much i did actually film the trying on segment so there might be like a tiny bit of makeup on it but it is the best top ever i know it looks a bit strange off but it's basically a little kind of like what i've got now like a little tee but it has a cut out in the front and it's just the best thing i've ever seen and i literally wanted to get this in every color <laughs> that's what I wanted to do and I stopped myself and I was like no this was the top that really drew me into the collection as a whole to be honest with you I went for a small I'm normally an 8 to 10 it's basically high necked like this again <laughs> you might see some foundation on the collar because I literally just tried it on then it just has a little short sleeves and the amazing cutout at the front which I am so so in love with I think it's so nice I think the color is absolutely gorgeous it's not the most practical top in the world trying to get this on Obviously I have makeup on because I'm filming, whereas normally you wouldn't, but just trying to get it on, I just felt like 
I'd been dragged through a bush because it is super, super tight. It does have some give, but it is pretty tight. Whether or not when you wear it a few times and wash it, it will kind of loosen up a bit, but it was, I don't know, but it was pretty, pretty difficult to get on, which was a bit annoying. It is a really nice top. The cut is really cool. I'm not sure how practical this top will be, just like the other one. I don't feel like there's a lot of support and I don't know what bra you could wear because of the cut out section. So again, is this a yoga number? I don't know. I do kind of feel like this selection, I more got just like stretching and yoga and lounging in because it all looked very soft and lightweight. It looked like it had very little support and structure versus the bow and tee collection, which actually I have to hand so I can that i can actually show you guys i have it to hand she wore this the other day the valentine's collection is actually ribbed so it's super thick material and then you'll probably be able to see it because of the ring light but it has like padding in it as well so it's really supportive it's actually practical as well as looking cute whereas they are probably just for yoga and maybe that's what they were for i feel like that's what was advertised but they are gym wear at their core and I didn't feel like they were that practical. Okay, and the final color I got was black. I know that might seem a bit boring. I was thinking about their dark blue quite a lot, but I just felt like practicality and use. I'm gonna get so much use out of black. You really just, you can't go wrong. But I did get the leggings. I actually ordered the shorts and the leggings and I told myself I would send one of them back and it's two weeks later and I've not done that. So it looks like I'm keeping both. So I did get the leggings because I just do feel that you're gonna get so much use of black gym wear. It's never see-through. You always feel secure. It just goes with absolutely everything. It's just, it's a staple piece really. That's my excuse anyway. And the next thing that I got are the shorts. Now I have really mixed feelings about these. I normally do like a gym short. Granted, I don't get that much use because I'm from the UK, but I like them to lounge in. I think they look great. They're quite flattering, especially when they have kind of all this ruched action on it too, which I'll show you guys in a moment. I always find them to be very flattering, but these shorts are low rise. <laughs> but they're not even low rise like they're not high waisted and they're not low rise they're just somewhere in the middle that it's a bit unflattering i don't know maybe it's just me maybe i'm just not looking cute when i try them on but i'm not that happy with the cut of them so i do like the v at the front and on the leggings it looks great this v cut at the front is a bit strange because normally you would have that on low rise to show off your abs whereas on this it's just somewhere in the middle and it looks a bit strange but i do really like the side bits so basically on the side it has a ruche section and then you can tie little bows at the bottom i actually have a pair of shorts just like this that i've worn to death I don't exaggerate to death. I literally wore them today and they have a hole in the front. It's so bad. Of all the nice gym wear that I have, I chose to wear the one where I've got a hole in it because I just love them so much. And then it has this ruche section on the back, which is super flattering. They do actually look a tiny bit see-through to me. Maybe it's just because I'm in front of a ring light. They look a little bit see-through. They are super cute. My only grievance with them is literally, why are they that length? It's really strange. It's neither here nor there, which is a little bit annoying because the reason I actually bought the shorts is because I felt they best matched the top that I got, which I will show you now. I got this amazing long sleeve top. And I felt the shorts went best with it because I feel like you're kind of covered at the top and then the shorts, you show off your legs. I felt like it just looked, just looked right. So I got this really nice top. It's got the ruched sleeves at the top and then the back is actually all strappy which just looks amazing 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 on oh, it looks so dainty again this is why i kind of feel like <laughs> it looks like a ballet top like i feel that this is for yoga or stretching or something i don't know if i would be doing high intensity in this because i just I don't know how supportive it feels. And I'm not sure that you could wear a bra because the back is completely open and it, yeah, I just don't think it would look cute to be honest with you. But this is why I got the shorts because I felt it would look good together. It doesn't. <laughs> Not for me anyway, not on me. It just, I didn't like how it looked. It didn't really work. I feel that I would probably wear them separate, which is weird because I really like the idea of them together. It just didn't work for me, which is a little bit disappointing. I really like the collection. I do question how practical it is. Maybe the idea of it was that it was made for yoga. I literally just clicked my hand. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> maybe the idea is that it was made for yoga, which is probably how I'm going to predominantly use it is just for maybe traveling, lounging, yoga, stretching, anything like that i think that's mainly where i'll get the use from at least with the top i normally do wear things as a set but maybe i will wear the leggings on their own because they're great and they'll probably go with quite a lot of stuff but the tops just aren't that practical 
<laughs> I don't know what workouts I could do in these tops. They were quite pricey, so was the Bowen Tee Valentine's, but the Valentine's I felt justified because it was so structured, it was really thick, it was obviously gorgeous, and I felt like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. I've already used it quite a bit since I bought it. Whereas with this, it's kind of like harder to justify the price. I did use a discount code, so. <laughs> I can sleep at night with that, but I do feel that the big error on all of these is just the practicality of it And to me it felt a little bit flat compared to the Valentine's collection I know obviously it's called slinky and that is the material and that's kind of the element of it But when it arrived it did just look a bit flat and a bit plain I don't know if that's because I just saw this amazing ribbed detailed collection but To me it was almost like a bit too basic if that makes sense I felt it was lacking some of that premium feel is what I'm getting at I think with the price tag on it and the standard of the collections, I don't feel that it had that same premium element to it to justify it. But it is really pretty. I do like the ruche sections. I love the top with the ruche shoulders. I think that's really unique and I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like that for working out. So I love that. I've actually got tops like that to go out in. So to have one for the gym is really, really cool. As I said, I do feel I'll get a lot of use out of it for yoga and for traveling. So for that reason, I am gonna keep it, but not gonna be able to work out in it that much, I don't think. I don't feel it's that practical. Thanks. So much for watching everyone i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you've got anything let me know down in the comment section below and let me know what you thought if you did enjoy this please do subscribe and turn on my notifications i do a ton of hauls and reviews all the time i'm completely honest because why wouldn't i be i want it to be as helpful as possible i often watch a lot of hauls and things like that before i buy anything just to see about sizing and quality and what people actually think of the product once they get it i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out my other hauls down below and i'll see you all in the next one bye